Welcome. This presentation was given as part of the Chisholm Trail High School Senior Guidance. The target audience was students still unsure about next steps after Chisholm Trail. We hope the information included will provide some resources to help students make this difficult and important decision. When trying to make a decision as big as what you want to do after high school, it's important to consider as many factors as possible. Some of these factors are listed here, including your interests and skills. Knowing the level of education required for a specific job or field can help you determine if you're willing to put in the time required to reach that goal. Doing the research to find out the future job demand and possible earnings can also be helpful. And we plan to give you some resources in this presentation to help find this information. The first resource we would like to focus on is Texas Career Check. This resource has an abundance of information, and we will only be able to go through a small piece today. However, I encourage students and parents to take a little time to visit and explore this website on your own. Within Texas Career Check is an interest profiler. This is a great place to start for students unsure of the direction they would like to take when they leave Chisholm Trail. The profiler is a list of 60 short statements all related to different tasks. Student selects a circle under the emoji that best demonstrates their feelings towards that statement and task. Individuals get the best results by avoiding the unsure option in the middle as much as possible. Sticking to the other four options will help the computer to give you your best results. Once you complete the profiler, the student gets a results page broken into different categories. The website uses these categories and the student's totals in each to identify careers they may be interested in. By continuing through the results, the student is given a list of careers that may be a good fit. Each career includes an average annual salary and projected growth in this field in the state of Texas. By clicking on the job title, you can get more information on that specific career, including prior knowledge necessary for this position and skills required. This is a great place to explore careers and begin identifying fields of interest. You also have the option to search military occupations using your results from the profiler. These are listed by branch and can help students see the many opportunities available through the United States Military Services. Similar to the previous page, by clicking on a title of a specific occupation, you can receive additional information that could help you narrow down the options that are the best fit for you. My Next Move is another resource that offers many similar tools, including an interest profiler of its own. However, it does offer the opportunity to search for specific jobs or browse by career. It also provides information regarding the future of the role in the states outside of Texas. Another resource you might find helpful is ONET Online. All the data from My Next Move is pulled from this resource, and it's another great place to research career opportunities. We list all three of these similar resources because it's more about which you feel more comfortable using. They're all good and we recommend all to our students. One last resource worth exploring is found on the College Board website. Their Big Future page includes many similar tools to what we've already discussed. However, if you have previously taken the PSAT, SAT, or an AP exam, you already have a free account with College Board that will store all your results and searches for careers if you would like. As you continue working to figure out what is next for you after CTHS, we encourage you to take a career assessment. Research careers or fields using some of the resources we have provided today. Talk to people you know that are currently working in that field and see what they think. And don't hesitate to stop by the CTHS Counseling Center to ask your counselor for help in this process. We hope this information has been helpful and good luck.